All right, I appreciate you holding for 15 minutes while I rant, my friend. Uh, we haven't pre-talked. What does Trump do? What's the ear of East Coast law enforcement? Your sources? I mean, I've got my sources in the military. They're almost 100% behind Trump. The police almost 100%. These, these, these people like Brennan that are known Wahhabists trying to run all this with Obama and Holder saying he's coming like he's Christ. The overthrow of Trump is here. This sounds like megalomania to me. Uh, but still, this is such a dangerous situation. As much as I'd like to see them decisively beat, uh, it's very dangerous to have these type of megalomaniac snot noses doing this. Uh, I mean, I don't think they realize they got their head in a guillotine right now. It, to some extent, I think you're right, but I also think that uh, they they do understand the stakes right here, Alex. And it's interesting, you know, what does Trump, Donald Trump do at this point? I think he's done much, but there's much more to do. He's got some um, insiders. It's my information is he's got some insiders close to him who are attempting, well, who are feeding, of course, the um, enemies, the true enemies of Donald Trump, uh, the former Obama plants that, that were left over from the White House. Oh, it's, it's, it's completely full of them. Yeah, exactly. So um, right now, Donald Trump, is, as I see it, and, and from my contacts, uh, he's he's got a multifaceted front that he he's fighting on multifaceted fronts. I, I mean, course, this is beyond any movie where a lion's surrounded by a hundred yeah. wolves, but yeah. he has the people. That's what I want you to get into your sources and what you think and all of it. You as a person, let's just do it. Let's get it out there. I mean, well, Hillary's committed crimes in her ass. Soros, it's right. time to get on the offense and not sit here while they get on the offense. It, it, now, with respect to Hillary Clinton and what we've talked about before about, uh, for example, the Pedagate uh, scandal, the Pedagate, uh, the emails, the 650,000 emails, the Podesta emails and all of this, with respect to that, you start pulling on that string and that string has been uh, yanked a few times. And, and we've Yeah, so seen how did Trump give the green light? Because I was told this would happen, you were told and it came out, to get yeah. all local law enforcement to start rolling up the pedophiles, just that they were told you'll have the president's backing. Right, and I think to some extent they have, and they've they've been very measured in their response against their findings. Their findings are much more vast than, of course, uh, their uh, what's happened so far. However, you're looking at this interwoven incestuous relationship. It's a mess. Yeah, I mean, you've got you've got bribery and corruption that is infused within both sides of, of the political uh, spectrum. You've got upwards of 30 percent, and I would say that's a conservative figure, of lawmakers who are involved in some level or, or either being bribed or have been compromised. Uh, so, so they're controllable. Then you've got, uh, so you start yanking some strings or uh, the string on that, uh, what you could have potentially is ultimately a constitutional crisis, not uh, uh, what the legislature. Well, that's what I'm saying. They're like in a psycho move to take Trump out no matter what, even though clearly right. he's got the momentum history on his side. What are they thinking? Well, and I think I think that the response uh, what, from the Trump uh, perspective, from the Donald Trump perspective, uh, outward in sessions and such, they're looking to, to move methodically and uh, using the uh, state, federal, local. But they uh, don't have time. That's what I'm saying. I, and, and they know that. And I think you're going to see, based on my res, uh, my sources here, and I think you're going to see some leaks coming out, some extremely uh, volatile leaks uh, coming out within the next 14 days. Now, that time could be off, but you're going to see some damning information about some high-ranking uh, judiciary and uh, legislative... Uh, so uh, we're about to see uh, Trump strike back? Yeah, you... I. I, I Yes, yes. It, it, the short answer to that is yes. But I think I think Donald Trump is playing chess along with Sessions and some people within his inner circle. I agree. I've, look, I've watched Schumer's body language. He looks like he is scared to death. Right. Yeah, and he is. Now, now he's of course, he's fighting groups like United to Protect a Democracy. This group, on the other hand, uh, when when Obama left the White House, and people, I think really people need to understand, when Obama left the White House, he left the White House full of landmines, metaphorically speaking, of course. Um, they, they took out hard drives. They removed a lot of uh, equipment from, a lot of software uh, information, hardware and stuff from the, uh, from the White House, from the West Wing. And they, they also took with them a lot of the secrets um, and built and By the way, you said this months ago, that's in the New York Times, Infowars.com. They took a bunch of classified stuff. That's illegal. Right. 
They also leaked a bunch of stuff that's illegal. And Holder admits it to the New York Times. They commit all the crimes that Trump said they were. Again, indict that guy. And, and, and that's that's something that, that the, the guys I talk to, the street-level guys I talk to, are so frustrated because there have been no high-level indictments coming from Sessions or from now that Sessions has been in place. And the response that they've been getting from their, their higher-ups is, just wait, wait a minute. You know, it's it's only been yeah. Well, I think uh, the street guys, the street guys got it. They're moving against us right now. I'm not. Right. You know, I'm not precipitous. I never call for major moves. This is the time to move. Everybody and, knows and, it's time to move. Yeah, yeah. Be, because you've got groups like United to Protect Democracy, a group of five lawyers uh, who are part of the Obama staff, who know where the bodies are buried, uh, who are forming using. And you've got five. Obama and Holder admitting they stole classified data, like exactly. Sandy Berger. I don't. He ain't the president no more. Obama can't give himself a pardon. In fact, no, that's no. the key. I read that this morning, where they admit they stole all these secret files and gave it to the media. Yep. That's all the felonies right there. Indict him for that. They admit it. Yeah, and, and and again, my guys, my sources are saying, what the hell? Why why aren't we moving faster? They have the files. They have the information. Why are we moving faster? And, of course, they're being tempered at the uh, uh, a couple levels down from session in terms of Well, the, I'll say uh, this. I don't normally life. defer, but I respect Trump so much. He's so real that maybe he kn he knows what he's doing. I, I, maybe he, I, you know, he does this. He lets them attack him, and he stands up. I think he's just going to let them really hurt him bad right to the moment where he gets them to actually launch a physical coup or something. I I, I trust the president, but yeah, I... I just... Yeah, I, I, I no, I, I feel your frustration. We'll be right back, Doug. Stay there. We're going to break it all down. We're going to break it all down. All right, Doug Hagman, I've been jumping in a lot, but talk about your state police, your FBI sources, where this is going, the frustration. I know Trump wants to stabilize the economy, expose globalism, kill TPP. He's done all that, but they're scared. They yeah. know Sessions is coming after him, so they're trying to destroy him with this made-up Russia crap. So, 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 what do you think we should do? What are your sources saying, and what else is on the radar? And then the latest on uh, the name we will not speak. Uh, you know, that deals with the pedophile rings. Right. Well, well, the uh, uh, a couple of things that uh, I, I've been told, and and this is interesting as well. Uh, they recognize Donald Trump as being uh, very good at the counterpunch. And, and of course, the art of the deal. He's approaching this, I believe, and, and, and my sources believe, as, as more of a businessman. Well, he knows metaphysically when you're attacked, you're actually stronger. A lot of folks yeah. say strike first, but if you can let them strike but let them miss or just cut you a little bit, then you get the almighty power of crushing. Exactly. And again, my, this from my sources, uh, they were a little bit surprised. I believe uh, that was a reference to the Obama team was a little bit, or I'm sorry, the Trump team was a little bit surprised at the, uh, at how deeply ingrained these, these communist revolutionary Che Guevara types were ingrained within all departments of government. And, and so they're fighting these, these fascists, these Bill Ayers, these Carl Dix type people within within the government. And you'll notice that many of the uh, uh, slots haven't been filled yet. That's intentional. Uh, they're going to leave some s slots filled. But getting back to w when you pull back a little bit and take a look at this from a larger scale, it's my belief based on my sources, my information, my analysis, my investigation, that what, what we're looking at here is as I as I open with is a multifaceted war. There, there's a huge war chest, a George Soros war chest of money, uh, some Clinton Foundation money. They left doubled out. the funding when they lost November eighth. Exactly, and of course you. Which have means we we thought we had a war before. It's on. Oh oh, it's it's hot, and, and you you have been a victim of this as we have and many others have. Uh, against this this uh, this war against the so-called alt right or the real media, and this is the war against is, loyal patriots. That's right, and, and perhaps this is the biggest threat to them right now. Uh, although we have in the corner there looming large is the threat of prosecution, criminal prosecution. The the exposure or the fear of exposure is much greater as we've seen over the last couple of weeks with the social networking. Uh, uh, sure, and I get it. Uh, I mean, I get that if Trump attacks him, it looks like he's a bully, but they're criminals and they're trying to overthrow. And like I said, Obama is organizing. What do you make of Holder saying he is coming? He's getting ready to roll. Trump will fall. I mean, you're the former oh. attorney general saying Trump's going to fall when you've been involved in all this criminal crap. I mean, that's an arrogant oh. person, man. I mean, I'm it, telling you, Trump's Trump's not somebody to mess with. Neither am I. 
and I'm not shooting my mouth off. I'm sick no. of this, man. And, and, and as are we. And I'll tell you something. Uh, one thing. One thing that I want to caution people is: is do not underestimate these people. These people being Holder, Jarrett, Obama. They may be. Uh, yeah. Why would he say in the New York Times, Obama is coming? Yeah. D d don't under well, because obviously he's got the money. He's got the uh, the, the uh, assets that have been ingrained within the uh, structure of the government. You have I in rapid fashion. The United to Protect Democracy group, $1.5 million war chest, five staffers, it's just made within 30 days. You've got uh, Brock, of course, with the American Bridge. You've got Indivisible. That's a that's an offshoot of the uh, uh, action, uh, Obama for action. You know, Obama was planning this, and I, I think people need to know Obama was planning exactly this, maybe not to, with precision with with Trump, but exactly this takeover or this continue continuous of power since 2004, his speech in uh, uh, the audacity of hope speech in that Democratic National Convention. It was then when he organized the community groups. It was then that he began organizing uh, all of the uh, uh, the Che Guevara types around him. The election in 08, they, he installed these people, had eight years to perfect this community organizing on a federal level. And then, of course, uh, people expect this to be untangled in, in four months. It's not or eight months or eight days. It's not going to happen. But, and you're right, yeah, we're, we're looking here. Everyone is looking. At, uh, the guys on the street are looking for some sort of um, sign of life from those people who have the goods, who have the emails, who have the equipment. Who exactly, because power. Trump's delivering on policies and doing a great job and taking all right. these attacks. And I get he wants to stabilize the ship, get prosperity going to win hearts and minds. He doesn't have time. They get that. They want to stop it. Let me show people the headlines. Daily Caller confirmed. Obama administration sabotaged Trump's transition to the White House. They admit it, the whole plan. And in there, they took secret documents and gave them out and took them out of the White House so Trump wouldn't get them so he could actually say what was in them. That's a felony right there. Okay. Here's yeah, another one. Yeah, it, Obama yeah. handler Valerie Jarrett moves into his moves in with him into his new D.C. bunker so he can have all these sycophants still run around and plan all this. I mean, you know... Obama's goal to oust Trump from his presidency via impeachment or resignation. Paul Joseph Watson, Infowars.com. Here's another one, Zero Hedge. This is in the New York Times, Politico. Holder foretells the return of Obama. He's coming, and he's ready to roll. The rules don't apply. We're bringing down Trump. I mean, this is like, they're like declaring war on a giant nationalist juggernaut rising worldwide they're, they're they've got an arrest warrant for le pen for criticizing islam today so she's in the lead they just are gonna arrest everybody even though yeah. they're not in power they're gonna try to arrest us don't they get at some point they take our kindness for weakness well and that's a great point yeah don't mistake our silence for weakness it's a, there's a strategy there now, now that only lasts so long admittedly However, uh, again, what I've been hearing is just hold on because there are a few uh, very important leaks in the actions coming here in the next 14 days. And, and it's contingent, too, I believe, from what I've been hearing. Oh, he kept looking at him in the speech saying, just let me turn America back on. Get off the people's back. Come on. I'm good. Yep. He almost feels sorry for him before he drops the hammer. Yeah. I, I, well, yeah, exactly. So so we're seeing all of this uh, this. This Cloward, Piven, uh, in, uh, 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 Alinsky, uh, all of these. Classic, these, uh, dirty communist tactics. Everything, right. And, and they've got a seven-step process that they, they are engaged in. Heck, Indivisible has the, uh, I think it's a 26-page report. It's right here. Or yeah, that's the Soros page. group, How to Overthrow Trump. Right. And so, so they're facing so much right now in terms of uh, opposition. It's it's kind of like you know, the, the you know everyone's going to be putting these fires out. However, I, I do say that the Trump card, uh, no pun intended here, the, the Trump card with respect to the fighting the um, this juggernaut against uh, Donald Trump and his presidency uh, is the emails or are the emails. There's a hearing next week by uh, Judicial Watch about an additional release of state secret emails on the Wiener computers. So there are things happening in the background. That was my next question. You and others said that it was child porn. Then it came out in mainstream news that the police have that. They want to bring it out. Will there be charges? So what's the battle going on behind the scenes there? 
Um, they're working. They're working from the bottom up, and and they are turning some people. Apparently, there there are some people that are turning or willing to turn at this point. Some states' evidence were acting on behalf of the uh, government. So they've been uh, rolling up the pedo tentacles everywhere to get people to blow the whistle on the higher ups. Yeah, probably seven of the eight will say headlines you saw or people have seen with respect to the child pornography uh, uh, arrest have some relation to the larger Pedigate scandal or the DC centric. Pizzagate scandal. Sure, but uh, notice there are huge articles of hundreds of arrests, dozens of stories, but only each it only comes out once and then no more. There is a right. shutdown of this. Yeah, well, you, you know, it's it's the old saying with the with the uh, uh, mainstream media is we deceive, you believe, and, and that, that's what's taking place right now. And, and given the fact that you know over sixty percent of American adults get their news from uh, social networking, it's a little bit rough, especially when they control the narrative or attempt to control the narrative on the uh, social networking. So it, it, the, I said all of that to say this. That's why it's so important for people to uh, tune into uh, you and, and us and all. Oh, in fact, we always just kind of add this as a proviso. It's first and center, and I should do it every start of the show. Buy yeah, the product, yeah. spread our links, support our sponsors. We're under total attack. We're not complaining. It's a war. You want people to fight? We're warriors in the info war. We're ready to take our yeah. licks, whatever they are. Just know, you're what powers us. So we have the force. Here's the analogy. We're six feet tall if you don't support us. We're 100 feet tall if you support us a little. We're 1,000 feet tall if you support us a lot. You commit, we're unlimited. It's all you. And when I say you're the info war, it's not so you have solidarity and I'm patting you on the head. You are the blood, the guts, the brains, the sinew, the fist. Got it? You're it. And I'm committed. I want to go in. I want to go in full throttle and defeat them. Okay? I'm totally committed. Okay? Call whatever you want. Kamikaze, suicide mission, I don't care. Because I know how bad they are and I care about innocence. It's just a male warrior thing that I'm ready to go all out against them. But... I'm telling you, I need the energy, the prayers, the will, the financial support, all of it, and we will not let you down, as Trump says. We will deliver. Look look how far we've come, Doug, with your show, 20 yep. times bigger than it was 10 years ago. Mine, yep. 20 times. I mean, it's, it's, it's exponential. That's why they're trying to have their big counteroffensive like the Battle of the Bulge because we are kicking their scumbag parasite butts up and down the block. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and again, you've moved the ball down the field so far, and I think the level of uh, fright, nervousness, uh, and you can see it, you mentioned it earlier. These people, the they're, they're gutless cowards, they're spineless cowards, they're nervous. Uh, they believe that they can win on the numbers because they look at us, the conservatives, and especially- It's a dying Australia. minority. Uh, right. And especially the uh, con uh, conservative Christians, they look at us and they say, you guys aren't going to aren't going to even get off the couch. You might type an email or send a fax, but make a phone call at, at most. But you know what? We turn out in mass. We wear those funny pink hats. We dress up as, you know, women's body parts. We carry the signs. We show up. You guys don't. And, and, and that's something I think we have. Yeah, because to we're too busy working. There you go. However, at some point, uh, we are going to have to answer those numbers with our numbers. Exactly. We're telling Trump, take the gloves off. We got to take the gloves off. And I don't mean violently, but imagine what patriots of every race, color, and creed can do if you get aggressive in an info war. I was a 21-year-old guy 21 years ago, 22 years ago, that has done all this with your support. I'm nobody, man. There's people better than Doug and I and Trump waiting. You just haven't taken action. And yes, you're going to get attacked. But it's metaphysical. When you stand up for humanity from a pure heart, God opens doors. And every That's I right. used to get upset when a door got closed and I got blocked. But then I realized every I got mad last week and I realized as soon as that door slammed, all these new doors opened and it got even better. It's 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 really metaphysical, Doug. Yeah, and, and you've seen the evolution. It's a wonderful thing too. And we have to. I, I think you know we take our marching orders from someone greater than 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 any man. The high so. command. Exactly. So we we have, I mean, we know how the story ends. If, if you're a Bible-believing Christian, we know how the story ends. No, that's it. I mean, we're getting direct, I mean, it's the spirit, man. We're getting we're getting orders. People ask, is this some government thing? Or who, how do you know all this? Like, it's the high command. I know where we're going. I know we're going to win. Yeah, exactly. But but that doesn't mean that we, you know, occupy until he comes. It does not mean uh, to sit around and, 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 and uh, you know, play chess or whatever, or, or to play some board game. We have to, we have to uh, put our... Uh, 
uh, hearts, minds, souls, and bodies into this, and we have to show up. We have to play our positions, and we have to become aggressive. Now, when I say that, I'm not Stay there. Right, let's talk about when we come back. Undoubtedly, an epic time to be alive. Stay with us. I'm Alex Jones. This is the Info War. Info Wars and what we've done with you, your prayers and support, is an example of how humans can build and create whatever they envision because we're made in the image of God. And now that we've built this technological system we have, if we are able to keep control of it and not give it to corrupt psychopathic elites who believe we're obsolete now that we built this, <laughs> what are you talking about? If we can realize that they have us in a trance watching football games and soap operas, and if we can dial out of that and see what Oprah Winfrey's really pushing and really talking about world government, world extermination, then we'll beat them. But you just have to admit there's a real world and that you got sucked into a lie. I was the same way to a certain extent. I was kind of the opposite. I was just brought up around people that knew all of it, but I just thought everybody knew this stuff. And I just thought if we told people, people would do something about it. Well, that's kind of happened. Doug Hagman, we got this segment in five more minutes, and then uh, I know you got to go. We got great hosts coming in here, Anthony Cumia. But we should just have this debate now, how much will Trump put up with? Because, you know, I, I get his strategies, but he has a responsibility when they say they took illegal intelligence, illegally gathered, and then lied about it, and then leaked it, and they've committed crimes, and they're on the communist Chinese payroll and Russian payroll, and Trump isn't, and they're saying kill Trump, overthrow him, have Sessions resign, go after the Patriots, beat up Trump supporters. At a certain point, I get the whole Gandhi thing, but, you know, I, I just, I'm not going to sit here while I get punched in the nose. That doesn't mean I'm going to do something, because I'm, I, I'm here causing the debate. But I get what you're saying with your law enforcement associates. Uh, we're seeing some movement, and it's good. Uh, but... Uh, well, they have the files. Okay, and that, that's one thing that uh, I'm not sure people are clear on. I do know that uh, at least, well, at a certain level within these, uh, um, within these, within the task force, the files exist outside. It's my understanding now they exist outside of the uh, evidence pool. There was a belief in WikiLeaks if they released thousands of emails saying we'll have the children for your pleasure delivered to the hot tub and sucking on hot dogs and you know, all the rest of it, that something would be done. And there's even more worse stuff ready to come out if something isn't done. Well, yes, yes. And, and I think, I think right, when you look at it the proper way, of course, the fruit of the poisonous tree doctrine would prevent anything above board being done. But I do think, as I said earlier, that a lot of the, um, uh, the smaller, lower level things that we've been seeing are a direct result, at least as periphery, from the intelligence gathered from the... Sure, equipment. sure. What happens if they try a hot coup or try to say they're going to indict Trump or impeach him? Does Trump just roll over to these criminals, then let them accuse him and march in there and put up with all their BS? I don't think Trump is going to have to do that. I think there's enough people on his side that'll do that for him, in particular, uh, very high-level law enforcement officers. At least that's my understanding. Well, sure, he's our elected president. What's the former CIA director and the former president working against the country, running around announcing criminal sedition? I mean, how long is that allowed to go on? Well, and you know what, Alex, that speaks to the lack of support, at least in my view and from what I've heard, by people closest to Trump, including Rince Priebus and, and Paul Ryan and others. So is that a mistake that he surrounded himself with scumbags? Yeah, absolutely. Because he's delivering and doing great things, but then has Priebus hopping around. Now, right. I, I get keep your enemies closer, but I, I just don't get it. I, I think that there was, they brought him, uh, uh, Brevis came on, but I think that there was a compromise. I think that that's probably at this point uh, reached its uh, logical end, and I think Priebus might be, uh, you know, I look, I don't I don't know, but I've been hearing some rumblings about uh, Priebus' uh, future there. Sure, no, I know Trump's been chewing him out, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Mind. Then he just says the media makes up all this stuff. They're not making it up. They're getting info and then twisting it. Back in 70 seconds, final comment from uh, our guest, Doug Hagman, of Hagman and Hagman Report, and then we'll uh, hand the baton to Anthony Akumia. Stay with us. Nobody's going to buy that Sessions is a commie. So I agree, we're winning overall, but these rats are just so crazy, and so many of them are dumbed down and just in their own world that the criminal energy is what we're facing. Hagman, in closing... What would you do if you were Trump? I mean, uh, other tidbits we haven't gotten to. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I would, 
I would make sure that I was well insulated uh, and certainly keep draining the, sw the swamp, but do it much faster or at least as fast as I could. And certainly um, relegate Sessions to, uh, to to file indictments. I would unseal Obama's records. Of, that was the first act that the, that he did when he went into office. Why not unseal him by, by way of executive order? Let the world know who Obama is. Uh, while Ooh, talking, that's a good idea. Unseal Obama's records. Right, Unseal right. the Benghazi record, Hillary saying the stand down. You know, they right. got that. Oh, man. Yeah, let's talk about Trump's arsenal. I mean, what, what he can do to these people outside of sending in, you know, uh, the special forces. Well, and, and that's just it. I mean, who, who is Obama? Unseal those records. He's undoing his legacy. Of course, that's why Jared has, is uh, Obama's brain is living with him now, because uh, they, uh, Jared, of all people, do, does not want to see Obama's legacy be destroyed. And now, having said that, while we were talking, um, one of the people on the NYPD, uh, FBI, JTTF, uh, Sex uh, Plus Task Force, watching you, said, uh, March, and I'll quote here, uh, he just sent me a message watching you. He said, uh, tell Alex that uh, March can, March may come in like a lion and leave like a lamb uh, uh, in terms of weather, uh, but in terms of politics and this issue, meaning the files, uh, it'll go out like a lamb as well, or like a lion as well. So they're expecting something, according to my information, in real time here, uh, that that'll uh, change the dynamics of our conversation in the next 28 days. I mean, it couldn't be any clearer the Democrats and the globalists are out to get everybody and are scum. I mean, I, not standing up when he's talking about stop, you know, exposing people that murder folks. I mean, they're just crazy. Right. Right. And and the other thing, too, I think we have to keep pushing uh, to, to make our voices heard within the inner circle. I mean, you, you've got great contacts. We've got contacts. Uh, we've got to, to, to make our, our voices we've heard. We've all got to be vocal. Don't just count on Trump. The people are the power. Exactly. And change will come from a bot. What, what, what uh, Organizing for Action, United uh, to Protect Democracy, what they've done. They've realized that change from, comes from the bottom up. We have to we have to realize change from the, comes from the bottom up, up, up as well and enforce that and show up in the, the numbers like they've never seen before. All we need to do, do is show up, play our positions, and play it well. Sure. In closing, you know, they, they put an arrest warrant out for Le Pen for tweeting five images of ISIS recruiters saying kill Frenchmen and stuff. I mean, how traitorous is that? She's the presidential leading candidate. There's no free, free speech in France. And then the EU wants her indicted as well. They're going to try to indict her because she's a nationalist. I mean, these people are crazy. You know, it, it, we, we could be in that very same position had the election turned out differently. And oh, Hillary we, said that. Yeah. And if we, don't do, if, we don't, if we do nothing different, if we sit on our duffs and do nothing different, that could be us in a number of years, despite the efforts of President Donald Trump, because change cannot be enacted at that level all of the time, you know, uh, all of the time so we have to do things as well yeah it's a, it's a sin as far as i'm concerned and it's a damn shame that that's taking place over in europe but but take a look at europe and uh, folks i'm gonna tell you look at europe and look at our future if we don't change what's going on if you want to know how screwed up socialists in the green party and they are in, in europe i mean they're like saying it's good to rape women islam needs to take over when it's the most anti-liberal religion ever it's a truly sick group of people yeah indeed and, and you know the worst thing about this as well, and I know we're short on time, is the fact that you've got the Muslims, the uh, the Muslims joining with the feminists, joining with the uh, with the uh, uh, communist, fascist, whatever, in in, in these in these uh, marches. This is insane. These people are in, are insane. They are insane. They're just the scum of the earth. It's true. Thank you so much, Doug.